So I think, I think we can start. I'm just going to share my screen. Okay. Can you all see my presentation okay? Yeah. Good, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. So let's start. Israel, wonderful. Um, so this just gives you, for those of you who don't know much about Tel Aviv University, you maybe you've not come to, you've been to Israel before, but we are one of the largest institutions of higher education in Israel. And um, this gives you a, a bird's eye view um, with some key stats. We have 30,000 total students, 2,000 international students every year, and they come from over 100 countries. We have 125 schools and departments. We have nine faculties. And if you know our campus, it's one campus just to the north of central Tel Aviv. It's 200 and something acres. It, it, it's a vast multidisciplinary hub um, all in the one campus. And all of our faculties have their own buildings and libraries. Um, and, and you get the best of both worlds. You have access to you know, the best of both worlds with activities and programming. Innovation is, is very much at the heart of everything that we do here at Tel Aviv University. We're a top 100 innovation university by Reuters. Uh, we're number eight worldwide for top schools producing VC-backed founders. And we're the only US, um, non-US institution to make the top 10 list. So we're very, very proud of that. Okay. Oh. Um, I won't go into all of them, but just to sh show you that when you do, if you do come to, to Tel Aviv University, you're joining a worldwide alumni of, of you know, movers and shakers across different industries. Um, Jota Motolenghi, um, Lucy, I think you probably know his restaurants in London. He's got quite a few now, I think, and they're very, very good. We have Dr. Danny Gold, who um, invent, gave us the Iron Dome, that wonderful piece of technology that keeps um, Israel and its citizens safe. Uri Levine is the founder of Waze, which he then, I don't think anybody in Israel goes anywhere without using Waze to figure out how to go, the, the best way to get there to avoid traffic jams. Um, and he founded Waze uh, and he's a graduate of, of, of TAU. Um, I won't go into all of them, but just to say, you know, you know, the industry connections between us, uh, you know, is, is strong and second to none. We have Ramot, who, you know, their 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 role is to identify, nurture, and transform innovation into actual products. We have the Entrepreneurship on Center, that's actually staffed by professionals um, from the industry, and then also we have some amazing events on campus, like the annual Cyber Week the Artificial Intelligence Week, and these last obviously for a week. And we sometimes have, you know, eight to 10,000 delegates from all over the world, from all walks of life, from, from governments, different industries coming together, sharing knowledge on campus. And we have some very illustrious visitors, um, including government officials and the prime minister um, of, from his, of Israel as well. Um, okay, if there's one other thing I want you to take away from tonight, um, in addition to the program and how wonderful the program is, it's our student life team. They would call them the Madrachim, which is a Hebrew word for counselor or guide. And they, so when you come to us, you know, you're not just coming to a, you know, a foreign country and just left on your own. You're very much become part of, you know, our, our community, our family. They... <clears throat> They're there to give you a very soft landing. So <clears throat> I, think, I think they're our best resource. They are the best, one of the best things about studying at Tel Aviv University. All of our student life team, they're all Israelis. They're all post-army service. They're doing either their first degree or their second degree. They live in the dorms. I'll talk about our dorms in a, in a second. And so they live among the dorms with our students. They're available 24-7 for any kind of support you need. 
whether it's legal, medical, any kind of support that you might need. They're also there to welcome you when you arrive. They're the ones that welcome you to, to campus, to Tel Aviv University. They organize the orientation, which are social events. All the students come in together to meet everyone, to meet them. They also, <clears throat> they're involved in all of the excursions and we have a calendar of events. Normally pre-corona, we would go on lots of excursions and trips throughout Israel, overnight trips to the north, to the south, to Jerusalem, um, day trips in Tel Aviv, excursions in Tel Aviv, and that's continued throughout the past year as well, but just you know, in, in line with government guidelines on social distance and the number of people. But they are, I think, one of the best, the best resources um, here on campus. And also for students that come to us that do quarantine when they arrive, they also help you out when you arrive and they take you into the dorms. They bring food to you every day. They, they, they come and you know, check up on you every day and make sure you're doing okay. They've also done events on Zoom with our students in quarantine every day, whether it's you know, election debates, um, Eurovision contest singing on Zoom. <laughs> which is quite funny to watch and um, quiz nights and lots of other activities on zoom just for people in quarantine so that they are not um sitting there you know slightly going you know a little bit crazy um so i think they're one of our best resources and you'll get to know all of them by name and who they are and like i said they live on the dorms with you they're on campus every day they also have a phone number so they're available for you to speak to um, 24 seven, um, seven days a week. And also the trips as well, all the excursions throughout the country, they're all included within the tuition as well. Okay. Um, accommodation, yes, we have um, accommodation in dorms. They're not on campus, but they're literally adjacent to campus. These pictures are of the Broshim um, village, which is just next to campus. This is a new development. These are studio style apartments, uh, much more private than, than, than the other dorms that we had. Uh, and it's a great little mini community there. You have a little parade of shops with you know, a cafe, a restaurant, a mini supermarket. And then in the dorms as well, it's very safe and secure. There's, you know, there's the guards at the entrance and it, it's a very nice place to, to stay. And because of its location, because we're quite high up, some of the views from these apartments are spectacular. You can see all the way out to the beach from, from the higher ones um, as well. And of course, there's health insurance and doctor's office on campus. And like I said, our student life team and also us in the office here at, in the Carter building, which is the hub of TU International. We're here to, you know, to help and to support you on, on anything um, that you may need. Um, I just want to end just quickly with, you know, it's not just, you know, we have 60 plus programs and we have students that come to us, they matriculate, you know, through TEU from, you know, post high school all the way up to, to doctoral programs. So you will join a community of um, alumni and students from you know, all over the world and from different levels um, of programs. And that's me. So um thank you very much just also one last thing is um any scholarship questions or questions about housing you know i'll be i'll be on the, i'll stay on this webinar now with you with you and ran you're welcome to ask me any questions about that as well so thank you very much okay okay thank ran. you david you're welcome um this is me i'm ran well, uh, I know some of the faces here, some people we already talked, some already accepted to the program, some of you are under pending yet, but, uh, and I guess the rest either already apply or thinking about that. So I, I want to uh, present the program very shortly, um, and mainly I would like to answer your questions. Um, if you're going to apply, to the program, those of you just you know just thinking about it, uh, we're going to have anyway uh, 
private interview so you can continue asking any questions that you want. So the program um, is a new one. It's only the second year this year. Um, and it was very too challenging year. You know, we have the epidemic last year and we have this semester also, COVID-19. And, and now we have the, the war in Gaza that also influenced the life either in, the, in, in Gaza, of course, and also in Israel. Um, so it was very tense two weeks. Um, we have 22, we have room for um, 22 students for every year. Uh, the program is four semester in a row. It means that we study also the summer semester. And the last semester, uh, you don't need to come to the Tel Aviv University anymore. It's only um, meeting with your um, mentors, you know, people, some of us that actually helps you to, to work on your final project. So it, it's very tense and demanding program uh, for 11 months. Uh, and then the last semester, it's much more free. Uh, we study Sunday and Monday, full days, and you have the rest of the week to do the exercise, assignment, reading, exploring uh, the life in Israel, Tel Aviv. Uh, it's, it's very, as I guess you probably know, very interesting and uh, um, complicated place. Uh, and, but I guess for anyone that's dealing with the commentary cinema, it's like heaven, you know, you have everything here, politics, crisis, uh, religious, uh, multiculture that's uh, sometimes <laughs> have very uh, problematic uh, relationship between the group uh, and, and, um, and in the end, uh, even if it sounds strange, uh, very uh, sophisticated and uh, intense uh, cultural life, especially in Tel Aviv and, and of course Jerusalem, Haifa and the other big city in Israel. Um, we study, we, we actually create this program that we can have a place that we can speak and sing and practice documentary cinema. You know, we dedicated everything to the commentary cinema because we believe that's a lot to say. Uh, and there's a wide range of opportunity to, 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 de to deliver your story and, and questions and, and sort through materials that you pick up and record it from, from reality. Uh, it's sophisticated. Uh, it's not the mainstream of cinema, uh, but it's... Um, it's very, very fascinating and, and interesting. And I really want to create international place for people that really think that this is, maybe this is the media that they can tell their story, uh, will come to Tel Aviv and share with us the passion for the, the commentary cinema. Uh, we study three workshop directing, any semester one workshop, uh, uh, two in photography, two workshop photography, two workshop dealing with editing, uh, one with uh, workshop uh, re research and one script. Another one is uh, ethnographic uh, cinema, another workshops. And we have in the first semester also meeting with Israeli director every week. We have a special uh, masterclass between the first and the second semester with international artists that uh, come to Tel Aviv and spend uh, five, six, seven days with you guys. Um, in the last semester, uh, we also have a sound design workshop and how to go from script to production. Beside the, you know, the practical um, workshops, we also have two seminars, one dealing with uh, theory in, in documentary cinema, uh, and the second one with trauma in the Israel documentary cinema, and also another class that's speaking about a uh, very important subject, ethics in the documentary cinema. And of course, uh, anyone need to do final project to, you know, to finish the program, um, 
and, and mainly that's it. It's 48 credits. That's the way we count uh, the, the point in Israel. Um, 14 is theory and the rest is uh, practical. We, we have a very good equipment in the school, camera, recording, whatever you want. And we also can support final projects in, in some amount of, uh, of money. The teachers, uh, the all filmmakers, you know, people that work in the industry in Israel, doing films, shooting films, edit films, doing, uh, you know, writing scripts, um, doing the, 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 the sound uh, design, and, et cetera. So they're all very professional. Um, and you can, you know, you can, you can use the, the, the high amount of knowledge and experience that have uh, in our film school. Um, in the last two years, we have like third of the group from non-Israeli and the rest was Israeli. I hope this year we have more non-Israeli. Uh, but we are mainly looking on people that have some skills already, that did some work with camera and editing. Uh, so in order to get into the program, of course, you need to apply and, and you know, register, upload all the documents for bachelor degree that the university can examine and approve your, your BA. And for us in the film school, what we need is up to one page about yourself. Why? you want to study in Tel Aviv University documentary, up to one page uh, proposal for final projects. It's, you know, you, you can change your mind and, and change the project. Uh, it's very normal that it's happened all the time, but it's helped me and help us to know what is in your head, what kind of subject, what kind of story, what kind of documentary style um, you're planning to, to, for the, to develop in, in, in our program. And, it, and it's very, very important for us to have some links to previous cinematic works. Uh, and it's, 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 it's crucial to have some example that's what you already did in, 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 in photography and editing and creating short, uh, short stories. So if you don't have something that it's good enough, maybe you can go out there and, and create one for us. Um, I think, uh, This is, I think that's what I have to say right now. Um, it's, the, it's the short way I can, I can explain you and, and describe you the, our very special, intense and demanding, uh, and I hope meaningful program. So I, 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 can, ask, I can answer any questions. So this is your, chance. So please. Feel free to ask away any questions, everyone. You're, or if you want to ask it in the chat, or you can just feel free to, to ask away. Yeah, yeah, you can talk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come on. We'll be the first. We're all among friends. Yes. Hello. Um, hi. Mr. Ran, uh, hello everyone. I'm really glad to see everyone. Um, so my name is Ilya. Thank you for this introduction. I'm, I want to say that I'm really glad to be accepted once again to the program and I really look forward to it and I'm very happy. And uh, I have one, actually one question for now. Uh, does the first tuition is the first tuition is being paid in August as it was last year? I think all this question about uh, payment, you need to ask the, you know, I'm not the one that's answered question about that because I, it's not under my responsibility. But I guess if you've been in all, uh, all this process last year, I guess it, it, it's the same. And, and you are registered as an Israeli citizen, so you need to, to ask this question to the, you know, to the people that are responsible for that. And if you cannot get it, uh, they didn't answer you, please write to us an email and we will help you to, to get the right answer about it. But I, I believe it's the same like, like last year. 
Okay, thank you. Okay. Anyone else? Anyone? Everything is clear? Yeah, yeah. John. Hi, everybody. Um, oh. Ron, I just wanted to ask, um, when you sort of do that last month, sorry, last semester, you were able to go out and uh, consent-wise, like speaking to people in the city, how much is there like interaction with like the public? How does that kind of work? Um, when you're making your own film at the end, is there can, is there like freedom to like sort of go around and speak to people in the city or how does that kind of work? I'm not sure that I understood the, understand your question, Lucy. So it's take time to develop uh, the commentary project. So it depends what kind of film you want to do and where do you want to do and what is the subject and what is the, the, the story and what is the style of, of the film. So you can, you can make um, so, so many different uh, cinema. Mm -hmm. I guess in some of the, of the films, you can go out and speak to the people, but uh, there's a million other options to do that. Uh, so in the end, you uh, need to choose the subject, the storytelling, the cinematic style, and then to, to, to produce it. Uh, it could be in Tel Aviv and it could be in London. I guess you're from London, right? Yeah. So, um, Can you tell? I, I'm sorry, this if I didn't answer your questions, but um, no, 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 it, it, it helps. or you could do it in Leeds, Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yeah, Chan, please. Uh, hi, nice to see you, Mr. Tell. And uh, where, where are you from? I'm I'm from China. I'm originally from China, but now I'm in Jerusalem. Ah, okay. Yes, I'm in my first master program now. And I want to ask if you received my um, my link of my video because uh, firstly, I, I, I don't have really, I, I did not really have the strong academic background background about filmmaking, but I did my best to make a film <laughs> and send the link to you. I'm not sure if you receive it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. About okay. yeah, about women, right? Yeah, 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 about women. Um, yeah, yeah, I got it. Thank you. Oh, oh, thank you. And I'm, I'm actually, I'm a little bit hurried now because uh, um, I'm not sure if I can get the offer. Uh, so I have to make another plan if I can. Uh, but of course, this program is my priority. Uh, but if I can get the acceptation. I need to like uh, make another plan for another MA program. I'm not sure if you can, yeah. And I think the deadline would for me would be like eight uh, eighth July. Oh, it's June. Sorry, it's June. We'll do I the mean, best. We'll do the best we can to give you a quick answer. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much because. Uh, I, yeah, I have to prepare for my future, you know. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to have a beautiful future. Yeah, and we, we will do everything we can to, to give you the quick answer yeah, as possible. I have, I've, I really have passion on this program. This is my priority, so I'm, I'm still waiting <laughs> until the last time, until the end. Okay, we'll do, we'll do, yeah, we'll do all the effort to... You Thank know, you so much. You... I hope, I hope, uh, <laughs> I hope you can feel my, uh, how to say, my appreciation and <laughs> I'm really willing to be part of this program. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. It's, it's very you. exciting. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. This is I my... did. I did pass on your email, Chang, to our admissions team this morning. So I, I'll chase them up and say that we've spoken and you, you would like, you know, um, an answer as soon as. Thank you so much because uh, yeah, it's it's a little bit tight now. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Ren and David. Tell and just, David. just David. <laughs> cool. Okay. Any anyone else, guys? Olivia, welcome. Hello. Hi. Sorry. Sorry, I'm late. I didn't realize. Uh, uh six six o'clock is five o'clock here in Paris, but uh, I'm here. Okay. That's great. But you're originally from Spain, no? 
Yeah, yeah, but I live in Paris now. Okay, great. Okay, any anyone else? More questions? Uh, yeah, Rose, yeah. Yeah, we, yeah we, we saw everything you sent to us. Uh, it was very interesting and we still, you know, I, I hope you will get answers as soon as possible too, but it's still on pending right now. Yeah, so, that's uh, great to hear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, yeah, but this is the situation right now. Yeah, it's okay, yeah, I have patience. <laughs> uh, I just have a question about uh, if it's possible to see some works that people made, like from this program, because I've seen on YouTube some films of the Bachelor's program, and I was just wondering if there's a place you can, uh, you can see on, on, on the, I think in the website, it's cool website, a lot of, a lot of short films because, you know, the, the Tel Aviv Film School is celebrating, I think in the next, not next year, maybe the, the, after the next year, the 50 years. So there's a, a lot of very successful films, but our program is very young. There's no uh, final project, uh, you know, that's, already finished, uh, people still working on the project because you know the commentary and not, uh, not only the commentary, it takes time. Sometimes more than a year actually to, to, to research and then planning and then shooting and editing. Sometimes you need to, to bring some uh, foundation to the project to be able to, to do the, the film that you wish to do. So it's take time. And, and uh, so unfortunately we don't have yet uh, Final project that you can you know watch oh, and see okay. the, the level of the works. All right, I, and I have a, also another question. I was just wondering um, if you enroll in the program, is it possible to maybe take some like Hebrew classes within the university to get familiar a little bit? David, yes, absolutely, it's possible. We have students that are come to us. Um, earlier before the program starts to, to enroll in a Hebrew Alpan. So it's definitely a possibility. And it's included in the, in the price of the program? Uh, no, it's extra. Okay. <laughs> That's a shame. <laughs> How much is it extra? I'm not sure of the exact costs. Um, I'll, need, I'll check and get back to you. Um, but we do like a, a, a short Alpan in, in the summer, in August. It, it's it's not huge huge amounts. All right. Okay. Have, have, have you applied, Rose? You have applied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, she applied. Okay. So the best thing, actually, if you want to just message to the admissions team, Tamar, I think she may have sent you an email. Um, I can send you her contact details. She also looks after the the Hebrew admissions as well. Okay. Great. Yeah. Thanks. You speak Hebrew? Uh, Ksat. 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 <laughs> Your fit. Okay, guys. Okay. Well, um, I have a question. Yeah. Um, I was just wondering about the final project. It's um, a final project where, like, how 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 does it happen? Do do is do you are you the director or or? Like the whole team, the whole class, like works together for one project, or each person has their own project. Each each student have, each have, student. have his own project, yeah. Okay. But if you, um, I don't know, if you are, want to edit a final project, maybe it's possible, or to shoot a final project, maybe it's possible. But in, it's individual. You need to develop and, and, okay. and direct your own project. Uh, it's, it's possible to, you know, the two students uh, have the same desire for the same subject and maybe want to do it together. So we're very flexible about it, but uh, it's not the whole class made in one project. We are really uh, reaching and want to, 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 I don't know, I don't know, develop the right world, but we, we're seeking for filmmakers. That is our goal. Yeah. Okay, great. That's what I was hoping for. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Anusha. Uh, hello. Um, so I had two questions. One is, um, is it possible uh, to get access to the dorm a few days prior to, so what I understand is that you have to quarantine, but how many days is the quarantine period? 
Um, at the moment, I believe it's 14. But the, the, the regulations and the rules are, are, are changing and they could change before you arrive. Uh, the, our arrivals team will get in touch with you and will plan your arrival date into the dorms and the, the dates of your quarantine um, in the dorms. I think you've frozen. I'm so, oh, yeah, you I'm so sorry. I kind of lost you for a couple of seconds. Could oh, you please no, no, repeat, I'll repeat it? Yes. I mean, the moment the, the quarantine, I think, is, I believe is 14 days. Um, there's the option to release earlier, but that's the current uh, time that you need to quarantine. But on saying that, you know, things with COVID are changing um, regularly. So I imagine that might change between now and um, possibly September, I guess, when you're looking to come. Um, and yes, our arrivals team, our housing team, there's the option to quarantine in the dorms. If, you, if you've applied for housing, you can ask to quarantine in the dorms and they'll be in touch with you. The arrivals team, which is also our student life team, and they'll be in touch with you and to plan your arrival and your quarantine. All right, yeah. uh, thank you. You're and an, a second question was, um, it was regarding the final project. So in case, um, and I spoke to Dan about this, that I would, my first proposal was to come back to my home country and shoot. But in case I change my proposal and I wish to shoot in Israel, um, then, and especially if I get to shoot in Tel Aviv, um, then do we have access to use uh, the college equipment or the department's yeah. equipment. Yeah, you can, you, you can use it, yeah, of course. Uh, if you are a student, you know, if, if it's, uh, if you're a student of, of Tel Aviv University, you have full access to, to your equipment. Um, so there, this, you're welcome to use the, our, our, our equipment, camera, et cetera. Uh, if you're going back to Mumbai, I think you're from Mumbai, right? Uh, yeah. Of course, it would be more difficult to, to give you some cameras and, and you know, any, any equipment that you need. It's also possible if it's for a very short time and you come and go to, to Israel and you can get, you can get it back. back. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of, there's, there's time. We will talk about later on what is the best way to produce your ideas. Yeah. It's, it's very, very big questions, yeah in any project, what is the best way okay. to use it? So uh, yeah. we get to there and okay. then, then you get all the answers. Yeah. I have a question. Okay. Thanks, Hans. Yeah, Lynn. Lynn? Yes, I, I guess. I have two follow-up questions. The first one is, how does your program benefit me? The, like, is it, um, okay, let me try to do it like this that what is the certificate that we get in the degree? What does it say when we get, when we graduate? So if I'm going, let's say to work here in Israel or I'm going to work internationally, what is my degree going to say exactly? I think it says that you finish MFA in the university in documentary cinema, but in, in our world, you know, this is just a piece of paper. Uh, what is important if you have a project that you already did and you can show your, your skills as a, as a director or photographer or editor. Uh, nobody really take this piece of paper and uh, give you work because you finish uh, MFA in Tel Aviv or NYU. I think if you want to develop yourself and become a filmmaker, you need to do a lot of work and then you can show people what you, you, you did. And this is uh, what people are looking for. So if you... If you're gonna have an uh, amazing film already, you don't need to come to Tel Aviv and study that. So it's, it's give you a frame, it give you a uh, possibility to listen to many people, um, to practice, uh, to think with other people about cinema, people that help you to develop your own story, your own style, and then it's up to you. So you have all the responsibility. We can just be there for you and give you all the option and the support that you need. Uh, but like any piece of art, it's, it's about the artist, yeah. yeah, yeah. And if, for example, uh, you're, uh, for example, if I'm looking to work in this industry in Israel, this is, uh, this is a recognized certificate, right? Again, the, the, it's, it's to build networks, uh, to, to make people believe in you and, and give you a chance to walk. It's, um, 
It's not about the program. It's no, I'm, a, I'm asking you, yeah. what are the benefits of the program? And if I can, if I finish this program and I want to work in this industry here in Israel, how would your program benefit me? Like, what would I, what would I be able to say on a job application? for example, where I studied and the benefits of where I studied? Yeah, I'm, I'm not too much, not too much. Lynn. If you think this is a certificate, will take you to your next steps. I'm thinking you are in the, in the wrong place. This program help you to create your own work. Right. So this is what we want. We want you to uh, develop and practice and think and talk about the commentary cinema. And, mm-hmm. What will come out of, of that, uh, we don't know. It's, it's up to you, it's a journey. Uh, to be an artist, it's a lifestyle. It's not something that, you, it's not engineering or law or any other program that we study here in Tel Aviv University. Um, so I cannot ensure you anything besides fun and a lot of uh, failure and some success. Yeah. And I hope in the end, big success. <laughs> yes, Lucy. All right, I have one more question. Um, you can ask with, two, it's okay. Um, so with the portfolio of work that you're talking about that you make throughout the year, um, do, do you find that people from the industry in Israel come and, you know, take a look at the work and, and kind of do, do, do the alumni end up working in the industry in Israel and is it kind of like scouting from the course or, you know, with the portfolio, how does it transfer after the course? Again, everything is depending on your final projects. If you succeed to create a great film that's traveling all over the world, then some doors may be open for you. Uh, But remember that Israel, the main gap for you to work in Israel is the language because uh, the, the, the main language here is, actually, is obviously Hebrew. Um, so there is, of course, a foreigner uh, and, and outcoming uh, production, but the main work is in Hebrew. Um, so it's also a problem for non-Israel to get into the industry. So, I mean, it's possible. There is some production that can use your skills and, you know, uh, but in the end, I think the most important thing is to, to, to make good stuff, uh, to get good materials, to be able to, to edit them to something with meaning. And, and you know, in the end, this is, this is your key to any doors. Uh, and this is, I think, the goal, because otherwise, why to come all the way and study such a very risky uh, occupation? Uh, that you need passion and desire uh, to tell your story and, and you know, that somebody somewhere will listen to your voice. And in the end, this is all about, it's not about finding a job in Israel. You can find a job without our, our program and with the program and so on. It's about uh, learning and practice how to tell a story with materials that you are calling for reality and do something meaningful with that. Okay. I have a question about the program. Yes, um, <clears throat> um, I was just wondering, um, since it's such a new program, like what um, like challenges came up, or like what um, like like what would you change about it, like that you learned from the first year, or like what went well, what didn't go well. It was very crazy years that it's very difficult to say something about that because we have the COVID and, and uh, um, we had to do some of the some of the time uh, online, and then we fight this online study because we don't like to to, to teach. So we really want to do face to face as much as we can, so we did the uh, hybrid teaching. You know, uh, some mm-hmm. in class and, and some at home uh, online. And then we built a tent outside of the campus to be in the open air. And then a lot of the students could come to the, and we can be all together in the tent. And <clears throat> every time that it was possible, we, we went back to campus and, you know. So it was like a very crazy year that it's very uh, difficult to make change upon these uh, years because, you know, 
so much happening in, in that time. But the main, I, I can share with you the main question I'm asking myself right now is about the summer semester. Because right now it seems very nice for you to come only for 11 months and then you go back to Boston and, and do your stuff over there. But sometimes after very intense two semester, a student needs some time to, to think about the project, to do the seminar, um, to do uh, some exercise, to de develop stuff. And sometimes the summer semester is questions. I'm not sure about the summer semester yet, but for this year, we, we will have the summer semester and then we can uh, make a decision. So in, in, uh, if I'll be honest with you, with you this is what uh, the main question for me right now. And then we made some small changes and, and try to improve ourselves. Mm -hmm. But maybe you can share your experience because you've been in one of our class, you wanted to, to see the atmosphere. So Natasha went to one of the directing class in, in this semester. So maybe you can share your impression with the other people. Um, I mean, it, I, I left a really good impression on me. I got to see um, kind of like the discourse and like some of the students, I saw, I got to see some of the students' projects which were really strong. Um, and um, I saw Arnon Goldfinger's class, um, which, um, you know, he, he would like really challenged the students to like think deeply about the projects they were doing and like why they were, um, why they wanted to pick the subjects that they were picking. So it was really interesting and, and it was a positive experience. So I, I recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, guys, and, and more questions or remarks. So, Miriam, are you still there? Oh, I don't know. There's someone that's his name is in Russian, so I, I don't know. But <laughs> Ilya, what is the name of this uh, black square? I don't I know. I think it's Anna, is it? Anna? Okay. No pressure. Uh, this is, sorry, this is Dina. Dina. Oh, Dina, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. So Dina and Miriam, if you want to ask something, Noam, are you, anything, you have all the information, I guess, no? Yeah, okay, thank you. David, anything else you want to, to share or to add to this conversation? I was just going to um, pop into the chat um, a link to our scholarship page on our website. We have we do have a new scholarship for next year. Let me just add that link here. I'll pop that into the chat for everyone. But this is only for non-Israeli, right? For non-Israelis, yes. Yeah, because there is some here that have both passports, so they can see okay, what it, is. Uh... It might be relevant. Um, I'm not sure. Da, da, da. I think it is mainly for international students. Um, okay. But it's a new scholarship for, we call it the COVID Support Scholarship. And it's quite generous. It's up to $5,000 off your tuition. And there's no deadline to apply for this, but like any scholarship, it's, it's one pot of money. So the sooner you can apply to this, um, the better. They only take applications from students who have been accepted into the program. So you, you can apply for the scholarship after you've been accepted um, to the program. And I would ask you to urge you to, to look into that. The other one as well is the, it's called the MFA, which is the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The Israeli Ministry of Foreign Affairs were doing a scholarship for certain countries, not every country in the world, about 14 or 15. And the deadline was in April, but I don't know, they may have extended it. So you should look into that as a source of, of funding. And the other one, if it's relevant to any of you, is Massa who do offer um, grants to students to come and study um, with us here at TAU. That's great information. I, I think you should check it out. Uh, the first one that you mentioned is a very, it's a very good one. Mm -hmm. Some of our students already got it last year, so check it out. And those of you that didn't apply yet, I think, uh, you know, we are in the middle of uh, interview and, um, 
uh, over going over all the applications. So don't wait. Okay. Um, if you are really interesting, this is the time to apply. It takes some time for the university to check your, um, you know, your PA and to approve that. And then we have to, to do the interview and, and you can send us uh, what I'm asking earlier in this conversation. So it takes some time. So if, if, you, if you want to do that, this is the time to, to apply and register. Don't wait. Okay. So if anyone wants to speak in private, I can stay here for some time. Uh, I, uh, I can add my email for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. I'll put my email in the chat. So if anybody, you can also, you can email me and I can connect you with admissions or run or anyone, any questions about admissions, the program or scholarships. Um, David, I just had a quick question about scholarships. Mm -hmm. um, so for Israeli citizens, I know that it's already discounted a little bit, the tuition. Are they also eligible to apply for these um, scholarships or? The answer is I'm not 100% certain. Um, it may be, you may not be eligible because your tuition might be less already. Um, but I, I should do look into it and do contact and the scholarships teams just for further clarification. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, thank you so much. Any question you can email me directly if you have about a program, uh, if you have uh, what is relevant for, for David, so write directly to David, to Tau International, and we try to help you as much as we can. And I hope to see you. Uh, okay, October 10, huh? David, this is the moment we start. That's the date, yes. And the, de the deadline for applications is actually today, the 31st of May. <laughs> but, yeah, but it's... So, uh, it's it, will be, it has been extended, I know, until yeah, July yeah. The, the 15th. But like Ran said, the sooner you, you, you can apply, the better. Yeah. For sure. Okay, so that... Wonderful. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Ran. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. Thank you.